Hey, what's up YouTubers? Welcome back to the Tech Talks. So, I'm going to start a brand new series on the Android tutorial development for the beginners for the year 2017. So, in this video, I'll be covering up how to download and install the Java JDK, which is used for configuring the Android Studio. So, let's get started. So open up any of your browser and type in Java JDK. And click on the first link that pops up which is under the name www.oracle.com over here there are two options the first one is the java and the second one is the netbeans so the netbeans is basically an id for developing java applications but over here we just need to download the java jdk so just hit the download button now you will get a couple of options depending upon your operating system you can select the option of your interest so I'm using the Windows 10 64 bit so I'll be downloading the option which is over here the Windows X 64 bit just click this option over here to download so before that you need to click this accept license agreement and then hit this download button now this might take a couple of minutes to download this Okay, so now we are done downloading the Java JDK. So just click on show in folder and double click on the JDK. Click yes. Okay, so now you can hit the next button. Keep everything as a default, hit next. Now it is basically installing the components and all the required files for the Java JDK. This will be done in a few seconds. Okay, so now it is asking for the default folder for the Java JDK and the GRE. So we can keep this as default and hit the next button. Now the Java software is getting installed on our system. So you can just sit back and wait for some time for the software to get installed on your system. And once it is done, I'll get back to you. Okay, so now the Java JDK has been installed successfully on our system. So now you can just click on the close button. Okay, so now the next step is to configure the system variable which is required for the Android Studio. So, so what basically Android Studio does is it looks for a variable name java home in your system variables so we need to configure that first so for that you can just search for system then you can click on the advanced system settings and over here we need to click on this environment variables now over here we are having two options the first one is the user variables and the second one is the system variables now over here in the system variables you can search for the java underscore home option but probably it won't be there so we need to add a new one so click on the new and type in the name java underscore home all in caps lock and the variable value will be the value of the folder of jdk so that can be found out from going into the folder c drive program files java then the java jdk now we need to copy this folder path over here so just right click and copy this folder path and paste it over here and hit the ok button so that's pretty much it now your jdk has been installed and configured successfully on your system so in the next video we'll be looking at how to install the android studio software so if you like this video you can put a thumbs up and share this video. Once again, thank you for watching. Peace.